What's up, YouTube? Man, it's your boy AJ2K, and we're coming right with some more Hot Fire. Now, recently I reacted to Pretty Boy Fredo growing up without a mom or dad untold story. Now, today Fredo dropped another video about 10 11 minutes ago, and it's we gotta watch it, we gotta react to it. Now, his untold story touched a lot of people, and especially touched me, and it made me want to be somebody that inspires people and goes out there. I know it's a lot of haters in the world, but we're not even gonna mind that. Let's get straight into this reaction, man. Opening up to you guys about my past was most definitely one of the toughest, most hardest things I've ever had to I'm do. I'm sure it was, bro. all like, that pain that off of my chest, it just absolutely felt like a huge relief that now, finally, after so long, I could share my secret with the world. Not only to help me move into the future, but knowing that by just simply sharing my story with you guys, I motivated and inspired yes, he inspired millions me. I know the world. If he didn't inspire like you, the dopest feeling man. ever. I know that my last video That's how I felt when I reacted to it. I inspired so many people. Answers, you know what I'm and saying? Like, Damn, I just Fredo, be how could you hold this back now, for man. so long? Positive Do you know your Fredo mom? Said. Do you know your dad? So I decided to do it, this. It was a lot of questions I had. For you guys. And so that to everybody that seen this video, have about happy Father's Day to y'all, man. To any father that come across it or that may see it. I hope y'all enjoy it, man. Happy Father's Day. And put a spotlight on someone that I call dad. Someone that has been a huge role model and huge influence on my life. And is most definitely the reason why I am successfully here today. YouTube, it has been a long time coming. It is finally time to meet Roy two times. Let's go. Come in here, times. man. Make it over here. All right, all right. How you feeling? I feel great, man. <laughs> Look, guys, this right here is my dad. This is my adoptive father. Now, as you can see, we are two different skin colors, and you know what I'm saying? That don't that don't mean shit. That don't, that mean, don't mean nothing. It don't, don't mean, mean nothing, nothing to him, man. and it don't mean nothing to me. You know, uh, I am greatly appreciative of this, Bro, this guy got me happy. and my I'm mom not because if I'm it wasn't for, for them, better. I would never be where I am today. And as you can see, I call him dad. I don't call him adoptive dad. I don't call him foster dad because that's not the type of relationship we have. Yeah. I look at this as the man that that birthed me. You know what I'm saying? Even though he did it. But the, see young the, the bond that we have created, the the memories that we have created, this is my father. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of skin tone, regardless of what it is, it don't mean shit to me, and it don't mean nothing to you. Nothing to me too. Adopted Fredo out of foster care in a bad, very bad situation. He had absolutely no clothes, uh, hand-me-down shoes. Uh, he really didn't have nothing in life. And I was extremely fortunate to, to be able to supply and take care of Fredo. If this doesn't inspire y'all, then Fredo a better chance of life. And now he's here today, me and him on Father's Day, and I'm very proud of him <laughs> in the situation he is today. A lot of people get the word dad confused. They think that you just no, have a dad is somebody kid that and take automatically care you're qualified as a dad. No, that does not qualify yes. you as a dad. Being there for your kid unconditionally, I mean through thick and thin. This guy has absolutely been here, you know what I'm saying, at, at my best and at my absolute worst, you know, at times when I felt like I've absolutely felt them. That like the picture I've seen was hilarious. That was the worst but. time of my life because it's like someone's giving me a second chance and I'm over here fucking it up by just doing dumb stuff. Yeah. So, definition of a dad is someone no smiling their kid's what, side bro. unconditionally, no matter what. No Fredo, matter if they're wrong, no matter Fredo if they're right. Speaks and not only that, teach their son. There's so he much this guy has this with taught the world. me he in life. With he has me. taught me to strive. All the hard work and passion that you see that is fired up inside of me, it all comes from this guy right here because I've seen him work so hard hard to provide the life that I was able to have like I can't thank you enough and I will never ever be able to thank you enough I just want to tell you that I love you and that um, I'm finally happy that the world can see our relationship and you know really I'm happy get to for truly freedom. know who we I'm are gonna even lie. our relationship keeps on growing more and more <laughs> See, my next, nervous next for the baby. one will be the little baby I hey, mean I was kind of too man now ready be something, something new great. coming into you the room man. we will be ready for Ava coming. <laughs> I like how you talk on Monday. This is a nice family experience. Yeah, I'm, nervous right now, uh, I'm all right, fine. <laughs> but every, everything is good. Guys. Yeah, <laughs> doing now, that. That's what I want to know. If I know my real siblings, if I talk to them, have I talked to my biological parents, so on and so forth, we're going to put it all right here. So I've been in contact what with happened? my sister. Like, uh, she was actually supposed to get adopted. He was. I was gonna adopt yeah, her she was actually, with him, but she chose not she, to. It didn't happen. She ultimately chose not to. 
Now, me, I didn't want to be in a situation that I was in no anymore. So I was like, you know what? Like, I'm out of here. Like, I can't do the foster care anymore. But my sister, she just tough minded. Like, I think his sister uh, really was kind of scared because being bounced from foster care to foster care. I kind of feel her on that one. She didn't know what was going to happen and if I adopted her, if I was going to get rid of her. Exactly. So she was kind of scared at the time. So yeah. mainly that's why she didn't get adopted. She's still, she's still a part of our lives. Like, I talk to my sister every single day. Like, she is very fortunate that she had to go through foster care literally her entire life but she made it out about my biological parents I actually went and seen my biological parents when I was like 19 or something like that went back to the hood and I seen them Dang. and those people just don't want anything in life everything in life absolutely happens I'm for glad Fredo got adopted I stay with those and people I'm glad Lord knows what the hell what I would have been my mother she I'm can't glad even he got adopted she's living off of welfare in section eight inside the hood like she doesn't want anything for her life and my biological father he's an illegal immigrant he's working is, underneath the table i'm, I'm so happy for him he, that he got adopted he and was able really to get some people like to actually care and that actually drove him to get that through him their life wouldn't have done me any justice so it literally although they wasn't was there by his side when he uploaded and told him to do youtube they are the people that originally are me responsible for that three meals so much but, um, life. And we can't thank God enough that we're here today and we actually made it through everything that we actually went through. It was extremely tough growing up adopted because like I was just so embarrassed by my exactly. past, but now I can embrace it. Now I can use my story to motivate and just inspire so many people out there in the world. Like it's a dope ass feeling. And not only that, I didn't want people feeling sorry for me. I didn't and want I feel people to you feel on them, sorry Fredo. that I was in foster care and I was adopted and all this shit. You know, everybody go through shit. Everybody has their own past. Everybody and got their own story. And you achieved three meals. And that, that's why you so inspirational to me. Being me. When you look at my videos, you couldn't even see the pain that was held up inside of me. All you seen was that little nigga screaming in the videos, happy as hell, smiling as hell, because that's me. That's all me, you know? My past is my past. But Fredo is Fredo at the end of the day, whether I was adopted, whether I was in foster care, whether I was a racist, no that. matter what it was, Fredo is Fredo. So I can just purely use my past for motivation to say, look, I've been through this, but still, I am here to today. To all the man, fathers. To all the fathers out there, man. There's a lot of people that come out in my reaction life. video everything to Fredo, do, and they said they don't know their dad or he's not there. And I'm sorry to hear that, and I hope y'all get through the tough time. And I love that Fredo sharing this with us, man. I love you, too. I love Fredo sharing this with us, man. Happy Father's Day, man. You know what I'm saying? You you deserve every blessing, everything that comes your way. I owe you nothing but happy the Father's most Day love and everything. The Fredo here. Yes, Happy Father's Day. My, He's a new father now. To my baby girl, I'm gonna be the best father to you. Hey, this guy right here. All oh, y'all already know she me. is. Thank you, and I love you so You're much, welcome. man. I appreciate love you. Bro. Anything, anything you wanna say? No, to I love you. Just keep going forward with your life, son. You're gonna be somebody one day. I'm already somebody. You're I'm Fredo two times. Fredo two times. Gonna Fredo four times. That's what I want to hear. Fredo's gonna be bigger than two That's times. That's what I want to hear. Hey man, I love y'all, man. And honors of Father's Day, man. Send this to our father. Same. This is Much motivation, all man. Love all you fathers out there. Hey, we love y'all. SSH to the game two times. You want to say it one time? Let's get it. <laughs> Fredo's such an inspiration, man. Let's get yeah. it, boy. So basically, those are the hey, papers on, right man. there. Once again, for the people that didn't see it, but Fredo is such an inspiration, bro. Like, it's, it's crazy, man. That's about it for the video. No matter, dog. But I hope everybody enjoyed this video and everybody take this as some motivation to be inspirational. If you want to do YouTube, don't let nothing stop you. You see Fredo kept pushing and he got his three mil and use this as a positive motivation to send you in the right direction. And to all the fathers that see this, I want to say happy Father's Day. But it's your boy AJ2K and I'll catch you.